Hey guys, it's Carl Brown here for GuitarLessons365.com. We're going to finish our look at Shot in the Dark by Ozzy Osbourne by taking a look at Jakey e. Lee's uh, main guitar solo here. So we've already looked at all the other sections of the song. Remember, this is still in this crazy tuning, so look at the uh, description here in the video, with the video to get that tuning if you still need it, uh, especially for those riffs. You don't, uh, not so, too much, a couple of parts in the solo. But let's start here with this opening phrase. <laughs> All right, so I uh, got some crazy sound and stuff in there too. It's very a lot of legato licks. So we're gonna start with a bend at the tenth fret on the B string. So bend and release, and then bring it back up. Then you're gonna follow that with a seventh fret on the high E, pull off ten to seven on the B, and then back to the bend at the tenth fret on the B. So this. All right. From there, we're going to play, go back to this 7th on the high E, then we're going to pull off 10 to 7 twice on the B. Over to 10 on the uh, G string, and then quick little hammer pull, 7 to 8, pull back off to 7 on the B string. Then you're going to pull off 10, 8, 7 on the G. Yeah, kind of. Not everything's in the right key, but it's just really for effect there. It, the notes go by so fast, it doesn't really stick out. And then to 9 on the D, back to 7 on the G, and to a bend of the ninth fret on the G. So let me play through those slowly for you. Next phrase. All right, so we have uh, nine on the G, seven, six, nine, seven, six, to seven on the D. Then you're gonna pick seven on the G again, slide to two, back to four, and then slide basically into the second fret there on the D. So we have this. From the uh, that second fret, we have two, four, slide to seven, back to four. So All right, and now we have uh, some cool little arpeggio licks. Sounds like this. All right, so seventh fret there on the D, six on the G. So six on the G, pull off nine to six on the G, seven on the D, back to six on the G, back to the seven on the D. So it is. Then you're going to do the exact same lick, but you're going to do it here, the ninth fret on the D, and 7, 11 on the G. So just changing the notes, but keep the pattern the same. Same thing, we're going to do it again here. 7 on the G, to 7 on the B, pull off 10 to 7. Uh, so here we get a little bit different. Pull off 10 to 7, 7 on the G, 7 on the B, and then end it with the band of the ninth fret on the G. So all together for the arpeggio section. Now we have a tremolo pick section, which basically is uh, you know picking as fast as you can or, or run these melody notes. It's something like this. All right, so the melody notes that happen on the G string are a little bit quicker, and then uh, they kind of slows down as you get up top. The picking doesn't stop; it's just the how long you hold each note, you pick each note. So we this let me just show you the notes real quick. Uh, we're on the G string here: 11, 12, 14, 16, 14, 12. And then we go over to the B string, 12, 14, 15, 17, and then 
spin that 17 up with some vibrato. So... So you can see I'm just keeping that tremolo picking on. So you see how quicker the notes went on the third string. Or then slow it down. Slowing down how long you play each note, not not the right hand. All right, so it's a, it's a fun one to play. You got some tricky licks in it, but uh, a lot of cool legato work in it. So just break it down phrase by phrase and um, have fun with it. All right, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.